hello welcome back to another video now in this video we will create a, a dialogue basic form pattern and i will show you that how you can play with it so without wasting time let's get started in this particular screenshot you can see that this is a simple and uh, a sample dialogue basic form pattern where you can add your fields and also you can add your uh, file control and you can browse the file and uh, whatever the data will be there in your excel file or it can be a csv file so that data you can store in the database or in the table okay and uh, we have a form control like ok button and cancel button uh, if you will cl click on the ok button then your data will be saved uh, okay and if you will click on the cancel button then the um, then the data will not be saved in the database okay so now let me create this particular form and for that whatever the uh, value will be there in the file that i want to uh, store in the excel file that's why we need to create a table so first we will create a table and then we will create this particular form and i'll show you the code as well as you can see that we are inside our vm so before creating any particular design uh, so first you have to create the technical design document or the basic requirement you should write in a, a notepad whatever the uh, project name whatever the table name all the classes that you are going to create if there will be any menu item then you can uh, write the name of the menu item so that's why uh, i have uh, uh, this particular information and based on that i'll create my objects in the aot and also we have the table fields okay and these are the table field that we uh, we are going to create in our project okay and this one is an will be name of the file upload control so for that uh, let me create a first project and run as administrator and then here you can see that our project name will be example of basic dialog form so you can give any particular name that is uh, required for in your case but uh, in this case we are going to create uh, like uh, this one but always use the best practice based on your project that is they are following so let me paste my project name and then let me click click on the create button to uh, create the project and now you can see that project created successfully uh, now we can create our table okay so uh, you can see that uh, create a table with the name load information table so let me copy it and let me create the object of the table so add here new item and then d365 item data models here is the table paste your name then click on the add button so here you can see that our table created successfully now we have to uh, create the field so if you have the uh, edits then you can add edits in your field but in my case i will not create any edit directly i will create uh, these fields uh, so load id will be string field item number will be string field and quantity will be the real value okay so load id let me copy the load id and here i'll right click on the field then create uh, a string and then now in this particular name field i will paste my name as well okay let me create the uh, let me paste it and uh, one more thing i just give the level here i'll directly paste the level itself but in the real world scenario you should create a level file for that okay uh, also you can give the help text as well so here you should give a helpful help text uh, don't copy and paste the level uh, like this one okay but as i am creating a sample project so that's why i am uh, giving this way but i already explained each and everything about the this particular fields and why they are used in our previous session so that's why i'm ignoring and th at this point of time now let me create one more field right click on the field new and then string and then paste over here and now go to that level again just paste over here and then again paste over here 
and give a space now let me create a one more field that is the quantity so here let me copy it again and create a new field over here it will be a real field so that's why i have to select real and then paste over here the name that you have copied and then go above and uh, you can give the level as well so here the level is here so let me paste it over here and for the help text let me paste the label itself or help text itself okay so now let me save it and uh, before going to further you can uh, sync your project okay so you had to click on the sync uh, so that your table will be created in the database so before that let me uh, change the name of the table itself because you can see that i have given the table one so that is not the correct information okay so it should be load information table so you can uh, rename from here and just remove the table this one because by mistake that i have not removed the table one that's why it's showing over here now you can right click on the project and you can uh, sync the project and if you want to see the output whatever uh, we are executed so it successfully compiled or uh, synced or not you can see so you can see over here that database synchronization started right also you can see that uh, validation completed you can also see that database synchronization completed and validation completed so our table is ready now we will create our form in the next video we will create our form okay